The winter solstice or hibernal solstice, also known as midwinter, is an astronomical phenomenon marking the day with the shortest period of daylight and the longest night of the year. It occurs when one of the Earth's poles has its maximum tilt away from the Sun. It happens twice yearly, once in each hemisphere. In the northern hemisphere this is the December solstice and in the southern hemisphere this is the June solstice. The axial tilt of Earth and gyroscopic effects of its daily rotation mean that the two opposite points in the sky to which the Earth's axis of rotation points axial precession change very slowly at the current rate it would take just under 26,000 years to make a complete circle. As the Earth follows its orbit around the Sun, the polar hemisphere that faced away from the Sun, experiencing winter, will, in half a year, face towards the Sun and experience summer. This is because the two hemispheres face opposite directions along Earth's axis, and so as one polar hemisphere experiences winter, the other experiences summer. More evident from high latitudes, a hemisphere's winter solstice occurs on the day with the shortest period of daylight and longest night of the year, when the sun's daily maximum elevation in the sky is at its lowest. Although the winter solstice itself lasts only a moment in time, the term sometimes refers to the day on which it occurs. Other names are midwinter, the extreme of winter, dongzi, or the shortest day. In some cultures it is seen as the middle of winter, while in others it is seen as the beginning of winter. In meteorology, winter in the northern hemisphere spans the entire period of December through February. The seasonal significance of the winter solstice is in the reversal of the gradual lengthening of nights and shortening hours of daylight during the day. The earliest sunset and latest sunrise dates differ from winter solstice, however, and these depend on latitude, due to the variation in the solar day throughout the year caused by the Earth's elliptical orbit see earliest and latest sunrise and sunset. Worldwide, interpretation of the event has varied across cultures, but many have held a recognition of rebirth, involving holidays, festivals, gatherings, rituals or other celebrations around that time. History and cultural significance The solstice may have been a special moment of the annual cycle for some cultures even during Neolithic times. Astronomical events were often used to guide activities such as the mating of animals, the sowing of crops and the monitoring of winter reserves of food. Many cultural mythologies and traditions are derived from this. This is attested by physical remains in the layouts of late Neolithic and Bronze Age archaeological sites, such as Stonehenge in England and Newgrange in Ireland. The primary axes of both of these monuments seem to have been carefully aligned on a sight line pointing to the winter solstice sunrise Newgrange and the winter solstice sunset Stonehenge. It is significant that at Stonehenge the Great Trilithon was oriented outwards from the middle of the monument, i.e. its smooth flat face was turned towards the midwinter sun. The winter solstice was immensely important because the people were economically dependent on monitoring the progress of the seasons. Starvation was common during the first months of the winter, January to April Northern Hemisphere or July to October Southern Hemisphere, also known as the famine months. In temperate climates, the midwinter festival was the last feast celebration, before deep winter began. Most cattle were slaughtered so they would not have to be fed during the winter, so it was almost the only time of year when a plentiful supply of fresh meat was available. The majority of wine and beer made during the year was finally fermented and ready for drinking at this time. The concentration of the observances were not always on the day commencing at midnight or at dawn, but at the beginning of the pagan day, which in many cultures fell on the previous eve, because the event was seen as the reversal of the sun's ebbing presence in the sky. Concepts of the birth or rebirth of sun gods have been common and, in cultures which used cyclic calendars based on the winter solstice, the year is reborn was celebrated with reference to life-death-rebirth deities or new beginnings such as Hogmanay's Redding, a New Year cleaning tradition. Also, reversal is yet another frequent theme, as in Saturnalia's slave and master reversals. Iranian Iranian people celebrate the night of the Northern Hemisphere's winter solstice as Yalda night, which is known to be the longest and darkest night of the year. In this night all the family gather together, usually at the house of the oldest, and celebrate it by eating, drinking and reading poems, especially. Hafez. Nuts, pomegranates and watermelons are particularly served during this festival. <laughs> Pagan 
The pagan Scandinavian and Germanic people of Northern Europe celebrated a 12-day midwinter. Winter solstice holiday called Yule, also called July, Juleblot, Juleblot, Midwinterblot, Juleferfest. Many modern Christmas traditions, such as the Christmas tree, the Christmas wreath, the Yule log, and others, are direct descendants of Yule customs. Scandinavians still call Yule July. In English, the word Yule is often used in combination with the season Yuletide, a usage first recorded in 900. It is believed that the celebration of this day was a worship of these peculiar days, interpreted as the reawakening of nature. The Yule July particular god was Jolner, which is one of Odin's many names. The concept of Yule occurs in a tribute poem to Harald Harfager from about AD 900, where someone said, Drinking July. Juleblot is the most solemn sacrifice feast. At the Juleblotet. Sacrifices were given to the gods to earn blessing on the forthcoming germinating crops. Juleblotet was eventually integrated into the Christian Christmas. As a remainder from this Viking era, the midsummer is still important in Scandinavia, and hence vividly celebrated. <laughs> Roman cult of Saul Saul Invictus, the unconquered son was originally a Syrian god who was later adopted as the chief god of the Roman Empire under Emperor Aurelian. His holiday is traditionally celebrated on December 25, as are several gods associated with the winter solstice in many pagan traditions. It have been speculated to be the reason behind Christmas proximity to the solstice. <laughs> East Asian In East Asia, the winter solstice has been celebrated as one of the 24 solar terms, called Dongzi in Chinese. In Japan, in order not to catch cold in the winter, there is a custom to soak oneself in the yuzu hot bath Japanese, yuzi tang equals yuzu yu. Observances Although the instant of the solstice can be calculated, direct observation of the solstice by amateurs is impossible because the sun moves too slowly or appears to stand still the meaning of solstice. However, by use of astronomical data tracking, the precise timing of its occurrence is now public knowledge. One cannot directly detect the precise instant of the solstice by definition, one cannot observe that an object has stopped moving until one later observes that it has not moved further from the preceding spot, or that it has moved in the opposite direction. Further, to be precise to a single day, one must be able to observe a change in azimuth or elevation less than or equal to about one sixtieth of the angular diameter of the sun. Observing that it occurred within a two-day period is easier, requiring an observation precision of only about one-sixteenth of the angular diameter of the Sun. Thus, many observations are of the day of the solstice rather than the instant. This is often done by observing the sunrise and sunset or using an astronomically aligned instrument that allows a ray of light to be cast on a certain point around that time. Topic. Holidays celebrated on the winter solstice. Other related festivals Saturnalia ancient Rome celebrated shortly before winter solstice St. Lucis Day Christian used to coincide with the winter solstice day Christmas – take place shortly after winter solstice, absorbed tradition from winter solstice celebration Speculated to origin from solstice date, see Christmas hashtag solstice date and dies Natalie's Solis Invicti Cold Food Festival, Korea, Greater China, 105 days after winter solstice. Topic: Length of the day on the northern winter solstice. The following tables contain information on the length of the day on the winter solstice of the northern hemisphere and the summer solstice of the southern hemisphere, i.e. December solstice. The data was collected from the website of the Finnish Meteorological Institute on the 22nd of December 2015, as well as from certain other websites. The data is arranged geographically and within the tables from the shortest day to the longest one. Length of day increases from the equator towards the south pole in the southern hemisphere in December around the summer solstice there, but decreases towards the north pole in the northern hemisphere at the time of the northern winter solstice. Topic. See also 
Topic. Further reading McPhail, Cameron the 20th of December 2015. Winter Solstice 2015, Everything You Need to Know About the Shortest Day of the Year. The Telegraph. Retrieved 20 December 2015. Handwork, Brian the 21st of December 2015. Everything You Need to Know About the Winter Solstice. National Geographic. Retrieved 21 December 2015. Topic. References Topic. External links Table of times – dates from 1600 to 2400